Hello, hi, hi. Uh, hello, Dr. Hello, I'm the doctor looking after your uh, Shannon. Oh, yes, little Shannon. Well, I, can I just say now, I've got to go in half an hour. I've got to be at the hairdressers. It's an appointment to have for ages. I've just got to be there. So if it's all right, I'll just go and get her and take her to her mother and then we can go home. Is that right, all right, yeah? Would you have a seat? And I'm afraid she can't go home. Why not? Uh, well, because when she came in yesterday with her mother, she had some bruises, as you noticed. Oh, I know that meningitis. That's thing. right. We'd seen it all on the television. Oh, it exactly. So she's worried. Got, she's quite a few so of those worried. bruises which don't fade when you put pressure on it. Oh, that's right. With the, the yeah, thing, exactly, the exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And she's got those, and uh, we need to try and find out why because it doesn't quite fit in with being an unwell child because she looks so well. Well, if she looks well, why is she here? Because she doesn't need to be here, then. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. But sometimes children can get bruises if there are other things the matter with them. What other things? Like, maybe some children may have difficulty with their clotting, you know, which stops the blood from bleeding when you have getting cut. But she hasn't got any cuts. Exactly. So, but the bruising suggests that she's got blood under her skin. Oh. Yeah, that's what the bruising is, essentially. A oh. bit of blood under the skin. Oh. Yeah. So, so how, how, how would that happen? Exactly. Sometimes it can happen if you have the infection, like you mentioned. Sometimes, you, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it can happen if you have a little defect with your blood and you bump yourself. She's going to die? No. Because I saw on the television somebody had that and died. Oh, I think on television they show bits of extremes. So I wouldn't think she would die because she looks pretty well. Uh -oh. But we do need to find out what is the causing of her all these yeah, but bruises. What, what, what are they? I mean, where have they come from? Well, it could be like I said, like you said, it could be infection. It could be maybe a problem with the blood. It could be maybe she's just fallen and hurt herself. Oh, she's always falling over. And the most serious, I think, sometimes in children which we see is that they have been hit by some adults. Are you accusing me of hitting my grandchild? I think you are, Doctor. I don't care what you say. I think that's what you've just said. No. No, is... I think that's what you've just said. And if that's what you're saying, I'm going to go to court. I shall go to court. I shall go and see a man and, and, and we'll sort it out. The whole hospital will go to court. I'm not having you tell me I've hit my grandchild. Right. I haven't said you've hit the grandchild. Well, I'm also doing... well, all I said was that I'm also only doing the duty. The law of the land says that if I have a child who's got an unexplained injury, like a bruise for example, we need to find out how that happened. And you would agree that we need to find out why it happened, wouldn't you? Well, yes. I don't want anybody hurting her, but it wouldn't be me. I wouldn't. I, would. I do smack her. I, and I probably shouldn't say this, because you said about the law, but I do smack her because she's a little madam, especially when she starts pouring things on the floor. And Did that to my own? Did that to my own kids. Good smack round the, uh, over the legs and the bottom. But I think the rules have changed and maybe we need to change their habits. But the law but says... It shows her. It shows I her. Know, I know it does, but I think the rules are that we can't. And you must have seen the debate on the television. Well, I did. Yeah. Uh, Don't but, agree with it, though. Well, Don't agree really, with it. But the law is law, you see. I mean, and I don't make the laws, unfortunately. But we are, I have a little girl who's got these bruises, which I need to find out what they are. Until we find out she needs to stay in the hospital with us. So how would she get the bruises? I don't I'm understand. Not sure. If, if not it sure. wasn't me, if you're saying it wasn't me, which you did just say that it wasn't yeah. me. Yeah. Well, so who, 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 who would have done it? Who else looks after her? Well, last night she should have come to me, but I had to go to a party. Mm -hmm. Now, she was looked after by her, well, I think it's her stepfather. Is I don't know what the relationship is. Uh -huh. This really peculiar, peculiar man. Is it? My daughter's oh, got, right. uh, oh, angry. Okay. Had rows with me two or three times. He's had rows with me about silly things. Mm -hmm. Nothing important, you understand? Mm -hmm. Nothing important. Mm -hmm. But he's got a temper. Has he? He's got a temper. See, so no, does she Shannon have any brothers and sisters? Oh, yes. Yeah, there were three, under, under five. Oh, uh -huh. right. Okay. Do you, do you think he's rules... done something to them? No, no, I don't think so. I, I haven't seen them. But I think, again, the law requires me to inform the social services because we need oh, to look after those children. Absolutely. Well. Don't you yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't want them there with him. 
Yeah. I well, do not, but I can't take that's them. That's not my decision. That's not my decision. I that's can't take them with me. But I don't think that's your decision either. No, I can't do it. No, I don't no. think that's your decision either. So we have to inform the social services. Well, yes. And they have to look into that. Uh, and it, but I can't take Shannon home. Not, not at the moment, I'm afraid. So, I mean, you can go for your hairdresser's appointment and come back. Your hair looks nice as it is. Well, that's but very nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, but is it all right for me to say to my daughter what's happened? Yes, you can. But do I... You won't... No, you won't tell him, will you, that I said about... No, him, I wouldn't. No, no, that's between you. What you tell me is between you and me, it's confidential. Really? It is. Oh, right, OK. Let's have a minute. So, uh, we have discussed about Shannon's bruising. Can you tell me what you have understood? Well, you said she'd come into hospital because they thought it was meningitis, but now you don't think it's meningitis. And it could be she's got something else wrong with her, but you don't know what that is, but you're yeah. doing tests. Yeah. Um, she may have fallen over, which I said just was a does fall over. Um, somebody might have hit her, but you don't think it was me. Mm -hmm. Correct. I've told you about this funny man. Yeah. Odd, odd. And it could be him. And oh, and you asked me about the three other children. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're going to tell social workers about it, and the social will come and see yeah. what's happening. Is it all right? Yeah, I think I'm. And it's all right for me to tell my daughter. Yeah. But it is all right for me to go and see her now, absolutely. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Because I can just fit it in. Yeah. Yeah. And if you said my hair looks all right, I won't miss the hairdresser. Well, it saves you then good as well. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. I mean, I was with you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to know. Thank you. Well, that is the agenda. Right? Yeah. Okay, so what did you think? I mean, to me, I thought, was it a little different? I think the good, only thing I really learned from that particular when you did it, you take her confidence in you. Bring her, you always take her along with communication. Small bit, uh, take her along. Small bit, take her along. You, small she bit was not alone and you were not alone. So she was with continuously. Yeah. So that's what probably we were trying to take over the conversation. Not addressing her. So I can see the difference that she was angry at this time as well. But you address that anger and then take her confidence. Take her on your confidence. Fair enough? Yeah. Right, okay, that's all today. Thank you, Anne. You are Thank you. Broadway material. <laughs>